2014, I graduated from high school. So when I went to college or before I went to college, I sold my drum set. Um, and so when I came back home from my freshman year of college, I went to a school in Delaware. It was a small college, um, not DSU, but it was down the street from DSU. It was called Wesley College. Oh, I heard and of um, they there's a DJ and I've never told this story. So, oh, an exclusive right here. We create the yes. podcast. Come on, Shay. Only, only the real, no, only my very close circle knows the story. So you may know this DJ. DJ. So you got a musical background. I mean, awesome. And you started early. I mean, when did you realize like, yo, DJing can really be a thing for me? Like, this is something I can do. <sighs> wow. So after, okay. So 2014, I graduated from high school. So when I went to college or before I went to college, I sold my drum set. Um, and so when I came back home from my freshman year of college, I went to a school in Delaware, it was a small college, um, not DSU, but it was down the street from DSU. It was called Wesley College. Oh, I heard and of um, they, there's a DJ and I've never told this story. So, oh, we're an exclusive right here. We create the yes. podcast. Come on, Shay. Only, only the real, no, only my very close circle knows the story. So you may know this DJ. DJ Blair is probably the, the one DJ that influenced me to DJ. He would DJ all the parties. I mean, during the 2014, 2015 years, you just had to be there. Like his mixes is crazy. Anytime I would go to a party, he would be DJing. And like, it's almost like, you just knew the party was going to be lit because he was DJing. So I would say he inspired me the most to start DJing. Cause I'm like, damn, like he's really tough. Like I would be listening. I would listen to his, to his mixes probably like once or twice a week or anytime you drop a new mix. So after, so 2015, May of 2015, I came home from college and I brought my own equipment and just taught myself. I was on YouTube, literally hours, spending hours. Like how do they do that? Downloading music. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, Yep. hours downloading music so yeah and it's just been up ever since so it'll be eight years in may very dope man very dope yeah what was your biggest challenge starting out as a dj wow getting booked <laughs> getting booked <laughs> right right <laughs> getting booked like i mean yeah pretty much because if you're enjoying the content you're watching right now and you want to level up and create vibes at all the events you DJ at, well, make sure you subscribe to us right now.